legalization of marijuana has come into play right around the prime time of the summer. What are each one of your individual thoughts on that? And how do you think that's going to affect the town of Milton, given that downtown Milton especially is one of the dense areas for the young population especially? And what uh, measures can we take in place to make sure that this legalization doesn't spiral the, the, the safety in Milton downwards? Okay. Okay, being as a family man of uh, and three boys when they're on prime age, teenage, it's really hard. And I, I'm against, I cannot be against the law, but I have no choice, I would say, because cannabis is going to be approved and it's already announced that it's going to be up uh, on the 1st of April. And, you know, uh, it's really hard to say that, you know, how I'm going to take that, but it's, there is no prevention, but we can regulate it. We can have the dispensaries out of the town where we cannot have the dispensaries right in the middle of town where we, it can be accessible for everybody because there is a way of getting everything. Nowadays, you know, the smoking cigarettes are available. The teenager are not allowed, but still their way they can get it anyways. So we have to find a way where how we can regulate it. But um, I don't know what what's what going to be the way. But you know, this is just in thought right now. So I'm I'm really concerned about that as well. Thank you. Thank you. Well, as mentioned earlier, that. Uh, Drugs are an issue, and they are coming, it's legal. And, and welcome all the wards two, three, and four uh, candidates. So you're taking time from, from canvassing tonight to come here, so obviously we're setting a trend. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but the question is, in all seriousness, you know, drugs are here. Anybody who's been out canvassing notices the smell. And it's not just the kids, it's the parents smoking. <laughs> I've been to a number of homes and it's like, okay, here's daddy out uh, in the garage and it's not, that's not uh, cigarettes he's smoking. It's something that's generational. We've had prohibition, it didn't work. We have to work it in that all society does it, but with regulations because we don't want people to, I have neighbors further down the street from me that you know, for medical reasons smoke marijuana and it is a relief. It's a natural product. And it's something that farmers grow, which is also a new cash crop for some of them. It's going to be something that we have to you know, work out what we can do with this ethical for everyone. Because you know, for some people, it's going to be something they don't want anywhere near them. And that's the concern that the town has to face in terms of bylaws and also condominiums and apartment buildings. We're going to have a lot of high rises built here. A lot of them are going to have some challenges, whether they can or cannot. Oh, sorry. sorry about that. I went over. That's my sentiments exactly. I mean, it's, uh, you know, there's already a thriving marijuana industry in town, you know, and, and we just have to admit that. You know, anybody who's, who's walked Mill Pond lately can probably uh, attest to some of that as well. And, you know, right now we're talking about that industry existing at your kid's school, you know, or up the street in your neighbor's garage. So what we're talking about is actually cleaning this up and getting the money out of the black market and doing something that's going to benefit, I think, everybody in the long run. You know, and I think as a town, there's, there's you know, hundreds of years or a hundred years of, of bad information on, on both sides, you know. I mean, some people say it's totally harmless. Some people say it's uh, the same as heroin, you know. So I think we owe it to everybody as a town to really focus on education, really focus on where we allow these shops to open up and, and really try to do something positive and clean up this black market we've got right now. Well, I know the town staff is working very hard to put some of those regulations into place, looking at best practices around uh, the globe, literally, as to where and how the, um, these <clears throat> shops will be permitted uh, within the provincial regulation, and the, for the provincial and the federal regulations. Um, our kids know all about it. And uh, frankly, some of the areas where I'm a little bit concerned uh, are that group that's over 34, uh, the group that doesn't who um, who doesn't see any harm in perhaps uh, taking a drink and driving. And there, sometimes I think our kids are more responsible than our adults, and uh, we need to uh, we need to be aware of where we need to be aware of what 
what we're doing and what our, our neighbors are doing, what our friends are doing as we, um, as we get into our cars and as we, as we, um, as we live. Thank you. Uh, I actually had to present on the Cannabis Act to a group of realtors last week, so I'm familiar with uh, all the concerns. Um, the federal government has taken this decision out of our hands. It is a legal substance. It's a, con a legal substance that we need to regulate. Um, I agree with Chris that we take the money out of the black market. With regulation comes control. With control comes, you know, hopefully a better way of us reaping the benefits from this new economy. Um, I think really where we're going to see the discussion coming up is where we locate these dispensaries or these shops. I think that is going to require a great deal of public consultation. In fact, I think it might, it might end up being the most consultation heavy project that, um, that we've taken on in a long time, maybe ever. Um, like I said earlier, when we've seen uh, cannabis being regulated within communities, actually youth use tends to drop off. And I guess that's just because once the adults are in control, um, and adults are doing it, it's no longer the thing to do among kids. So, um, you know, I, I think there's a lot of um, benefits to come out of it as far as revenue goes, but it's going, oh, I'll stop there. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, this is a federal issue, but uh, whereas uh, I met with a lot of people, different people have their own values so when I've met with a lot of people, they, their parents, they have a few concerns for, for this decision. So it, I, I cannot like go for, it's, it depends, everybody has got their own views. So I cannot say for that thing. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you uh, very much. Uh, of course, it's here to stay, so it has to be properly regulated. And uh, please, one of the things that, uh, we as a municipality uh, have to do, as mentioned, I think by Councillor Bass, is get something in, uh, in place. And Madam Chair, just not to follow the script totally, but I have a question uh, as well. It has to be regulated, and I'm just wondering aloud now, with the uh, DBIA, are they supportive of uh, shop in downtown Milton? I'd like a response to that, believe it or not, tonight. Okay, so I'm reversing it now. But one of, one of the other challenges, uh, Madam Chair, that we have as well, and you probably hear it and read it, that uh, some municipalities embrace it, some don't. So it's kind of a hit and miss all over the place. And until it's properly regulated, and I'm talking about the province of Ontario now, it's going to be hopscotch and we're going to be into trouble. So I don't care whether you're in Mississauga, whether you're in Milton, Oakville, Burlington, wherever, we have to be on the same page. So that's important. Thank you. Yeah, my understanding was that uh, we can still opt out, but, uh, but it is inevitable because our kids can still go to the neighboring towns and get it. So we might as well regulate it. We might as well put the corrective actions in place um, and the get the benefit, revenue out of it. Uh, but it has to be regulated. It has to be away from um, libraries, away from, uh, if, we, if we were to put the dispensaries here, it has to be away from those areas, schools, libraries, public places and all. Uh, yeah, we can regulate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. 